Welcome to our video on the datasets used to train the chat GPT model. As one of the largest language models in the world, chat GPT was trained on massive amounts of text data to learn language and develop its ability to understand and generate natural language. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the datasets that were used to train the chat GPT model. Overview, the chat GPT model was trained using a massive amount of text data, including books, articles, and web pages. This data was collected from a variety of sources and was carefully curated to ensure that the model received a diverse and representative sample of natural language. Web text, one of the main datasets used to train the chat GPT model is called web text. This dataset consists of over 40 gigabytes of text data scraped from the internet. The data is unstructured and covers a wide range of topics, from science and technology to entertainment and sports. Books, another important dataset used to train the chat GPT model is a collection of over 45,000 books from the Project Gutenberg Library. This dataset includes classic literature, modern novels, and nonfiction works covering a wide range of topics. News articles, the chat GPT model was also trained on a large collection of news articles, including articles from the New York Times and other major news sources. This dataset helps the model learn about current events and develop an understanding of how language is used in news reporting. Other datasets, in addition to these main datasets, the ChatGPT model was trained on a variety of smaller datasets, including Wikipedia articles, scientific papers, and online forums. Conclusion In conclusion, the ChatGPT model was trained on a massive amount of text data from a variety of sources, including web text, books, news articles, and other smaller datasets. This diverse collection of data helped the model learn about language and develop its ability to understand and generate natural language. The ChatGPT model's impressive performance on a wide range of natural language processing tasks has made it a valuable tool for researchers and businesses alike. We hope you found this video informative and useful. Thank you for watching.